Hello and thanks for watching. We're going to be disassembling and tearing down an old microwave oven from my work. There goes the glass plate and the ring. That's the drive motor for the turntable under there that rides on that carrier. You saw the inside of the microwave is pretty funky. We're going to take all these screws out. There's lots of screws holding this together. Nice and modular, both for assembly and disassembly. All the metal parts here are going to go into the recycling. We're going to just take all these screws out. There's a security screw. I had the bit. Woohoo! We'll take that out. There's one on the other side too. There's some more screws. We're going to use this box for the recycling stuff. Not sure why the door wouldn't come off there. Oh, there's another hinge. The bottom plate popped off. There's a capacitor. We're going to remove its bracket. There goes the transformer. We're going to disconnect all the wires there. We're going to save that. These are going to go to the scrap recycler. Is that also the part that's the heaviest, I presume? This is the microwave. The oh. part that makes the microwave signal. Cool. This. Put all those parts in that bin there. There's some more screws. Eventually we get the hinge undone. Now we'll move around over here. Seems to just be press fit on. As we flip it around here, we figure out that it actually can be free. But something seems to be stuck. I fold that lid back over. Oh, maybe undoing this hinge over here will help. Take those hinge bolts out. There goes the door, that's a trash item. There goes the case, we'll throw that in the recycling. That's the microwave emitter, a gallons model. They run at about 900 volts DC. That's where the microwaves enter. The oven. Right there through that window. There goes the grandfather clock. We're going to disconnect these wires here. A whole bunch of wires in this machine. Not surprising, it's an electrical appliance. There's the cooling fan. Disconnect that. Now we're going to take the magnetron out. But first, we're going to disconnect the front panel. And there it goes. Controller. Cool. That's the control unit. And it itself has a cool display module. It's integral. That's the display driver. That's the power transformer. The board is labeled. These are output relays to control switching. That was the touch interface ribbon cable connector for all these MEM switch buttons like this. The controller is fed through here. The traces here connect to the logic on the other side. This microcontroller is what controls the microwave's switching. The frequency of the incandescent light can squeak through those small holes, but the microwaves can't. They're a wa longer wavelength. That is the microwave emitter. It's the action and part. And you can see the cooling fins, and there's two magnets. It's there's called a magnetron. Powerful magnets to align the field. And these are the air cooling fins that that fan, that white fan here. The magnetron so converts air through this. Power from the transformer into and microwaves. Essentially, microwaves like radar, goes microwave. in that hole right there. And that little window back there is actually transparent for radio frequency. So it bounces around. It bounces around that inner metal plate. Voltage on it too, right here in the corner. Yeah, that's input voltage. Meg um, spotted really that nice label there. Watts, Tells you what kind of light bulb. Here, if you were to try to replace it. If you wanted to replace the light bulb, mm -hmm. you could you can know. Yeah. That's the door lock mechanism. All microwaves sold in the U.S. have to have a safety lock. That way you can't open the door while the emitter's on. There you have it. The chamber. 
microwave chamber, but we forgot the turntable stepper motor. That's the drive motor that turns the glass table. The core goes in the box for recycling. These are the parts we're going to scrap out in an electronics recycler. There's a substantial amount of copper, especially in the, that fan and the transformer and the emitter itself. We're going to put all of these electronic parts, including the control logic, they're all going to go to the electronics and metal recycler. We're going to throw the door and some other parts in the trash, and then all the metal bits get recycled one way or the other, either with the recycler or with our local recycling. This is called scrapping. I like to break down appliances. You get to see what's inside, and then you can ethically recycle.